this is the, this is the road to recovery special. All right, let's get it together here, people. Yo. We got to talk about something very important concerning recovery, and that is, uh, you know, pretty much like the the dream team combination combo rap here of you and the other hottest guy in the game, Lil Wayne. There's definitely an interesting story surrounding this record. Tell us, what is it? Tell us, what would be that interesting story? What would you like to ask me, Reef? Well, what are you getting at, Reefers? <clears throat> is there a video for the said record? Hmm. Hmm. Interesting it is. I... <laughs> <laughs> we got uh, a chance to film him, right, before he had yeah, to go away. before he went in. Yeah. Yep. So the video's not done, but um, it will be. That is awesome. And this is a track that's produced by Mr. Just Blaze. And obviously a lot of the internuts, the internet bloggers and internuts. That was good, man. Internuts. Thank you. Thank you. When when they like heard the nuts intertwine in your yes. mouth. Oh, oh, I got your back. Oh, oh you got bro. me. Oh, oh. You need oh. some neosporin for that burn? Oh. Oh, oh he fried you. Oh. Oh. Ew. When people heard that you were working with Just Blaze, they were like, oh, my God, oh, this is going to be incredible. Let's quickly talk about working with Just Blaze, that that combo. Because he, what, he got four or five records on here? There's a nice... three, there's three actual records on the, or there's three records on the actual uh, CD. Yeah. And then there's a bonus track. The, the deluxe track for iTunes bonus. Yeah, deluxe track for iTunes bonus. Oh, and that song is crazy. So make sure you get with every song possible. Yes, yeah, it's, it's me with Slaughterhouse. We did... Um, I think we did like eight records total, and we just kind of picked the best ones, the ones we thought were the best, and, and went with those. In the case with Khalil, as the beats started coming and just inspiring you, and like there seems to be like with Khalil and Just, there's a certain kind of uh, chemistry that developed that brought you to another level. Talk about that for a moment, will you? Well, whether that be the case or not, I'm just glad to I'm glad to be back. Like I, I'm glad to um, to feel like I feel again. You know, just to feel normal again for one but to just just to be excited about hip-hop again you know just mm -hmm. to be excited and, and and have the passion back for music that i you know that i feel like i lost for so many years i'm just i'm glad to have that back that 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 fire so that feels good now you know let's get an outsider perspective when when you first heard that track of of the you know everyone associates it with the night at the roxbury what is love and Yo, it's like a it's like a was... it's like a doucher fist pump like yeah, it's like the original Douche or Fist Pump record. Yeah, when I heard him doing it when I heard him making that track, and he brought the idea to me. When Just brought the idea to me, it was like, what the fuck? I was like, this guy is a genius. Cause the the fact that he took a record that's like that and made it into this, like, like wow. The idea of getting Wayne on it, where did that come into the to the process? We did the Forever record. I think both of us kind of looked at it like, you know, I had, I had heard that he wanted to work with me, and and you know, obviously I wanted to work with him. So it was like, it was one of them things where when I did the record, the Drop the World record with him, mm -hmm. uh, when, when we first did the Forever record, it felt like, okay, this is, this is cool, but we didn't get a chance to, to do a record together. So, you know, basically he hit me up and, and, and wanted me to be on the Drop the World record. And then we kind of just did a, a, agreed to do an exchange. You know what I mean? Cause I, I knew that I wanted him for, for, for my record. So, right. and Wayne is fucking dope, man. So. Shouts to Wayne. No doubt. So without further ado, we spoke about it. Let's play it. It is No Love, The Road to Recovery. I'm Reef. I'm joined by Mr. Mathers, Mr. Rosenberg, Mr. Porter, and Mr. Chemist on Shade 45. And Mr. Anderson. Mr. Mr. Anderson. This is, the, this is the Road to Recovery special. The Road to Recovery. We are back on Shade 45. So the next stop <laughs> on the Road to Recovery is a song, uh, another song produced by DJ Khalil, 25 to Life. Indeed. Tell us the story, so, Marshall. So 25 to Life is basically, it's describing my relationship with hip-hop, to sum it up in a nutshell. And at the end, it just says, you know, when it comes to people who meant the most to you, you left me off your list. It's one of them things that uh, I felt like, if anything, I took it as a it, it is kind of a wake up call for me to say like I, a you word. Know, maybe I need to do better. Okay. Well, let's you know? let's let's go into it and and uh, see what you have to say on the matter. Twenty five to life on the road to recovery. Shape forty five. We shall be back. This is, this, is the, this is the road to recovery special. And we're back on the road to recovery with the alchemist, Mr. Porter, Paul Rosenberg, and the man, the myth, the legend, Eminem, Marshall Mathers. I am. And uh, we're almost famous. Yes, we're almost, almost famous. finished. <laughs> almost finished, literally. Yeah. <laughs> you and Fame have had this weird kind of relationship, uh, you know, where the, where it's like the "be careful what you wish for," you know, phenomenon. Yep. And uh, 
now that you've had some time to kind of like really sit back, observe, and absorb it in a different mind frame, tell us how it relates to the record. Well, that was a track that, uh, that track in particular, which was produced by DJ Khalil. Yeah, yet another. Um, when I heard the chorus, it was, to me, the chorus kind of sounded like a battle cry. Like it was like, you know, what it's saying. But then I don't even think you can hear it anymore. But when it goes into the bridge that I'm singing, I'm probably getting too much into detail. There was a, the girl was saying, almost famous. And I thought like, what could I talk about in this record that would make sense mm -hmm. with the almost famous concept? And I thought back to, you know, my battling days and, and just being in battling mode. So it was kind of like I wanted to make a battling record, but go back to, you know, the hip hop shop days and, and my mind frame and how I used to think. So it's kind of explaining the journey of like trying, failing, being knocked down coming back with a vengeance and kind of and I'm not going to stop until I get my record deal kind of thing. And it's not a song talking about like being bitter with fame or anything like that. You know, like look at me now ha ha ha. Uh it's a, it, it, it's it's just going back to that mind frame. I think with obviously updated metaphors so people would know what I was talking about, but it would be like those are the kind of lyrics that I'm going to take in the battle that I would take in the battle back in the day. So it's kind of like just approaching the record from that frame of mind. Mm. All right. Well, Let's get into it. Almost famous here on the road to recovery with Marshall Mathers on Shade 45. This is, this is, this is the road to recovery special. Shade 45, we are back. This is Reef. And, and we I'm are joined. live. Yes, we are live. Hey. Give yourselves a hand. Give yourselves a hand. Man. Give us a round of applause for just being live today, man. And for having is the number one album in the country. Wow. God damn it. This is it? live too. That's fuck yeah. That's a great Crazy. thing, man. That's a that's a good thing too. You know what I'm saying? But I'm here to fucking talk, man. Fuck that other shit. I'm here to fucking talk. All right. Well, we are getting towards the end of the road to recovery. Now, as we approach the end of the road to recovery, you know, very emotional moment on the album for me personally, and I'm sure for you in 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 this song, uh, you're never over. Uh, <clears throat> produced by Just Blaze, and it addresses a very near and dear person to all of us in this room, even though we wish he was here. I, you know, very difficult to, to still even think about, talk about, and I'm sure you obviously feel the same way. But uh, let, let's, let's talk about this record and its importance and personal meaning to you. Well, for me, this is the most, the most important song off the record because, uh, off the CD, um, because, you know, just for the simple fact that what, everything that happened. And we're um, talking about proof, by the way. I'm sorry, yeah. I didn't specify that yeah it, it, it's a it's a dedication to proof and it's one of those it's one of those records that um i tried i had several attempts at making it was like every attempt just wasn't good enough you know it was one of those things that, that you know i tried a bunch of records man and it just didn't work you know it was like this 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 is not good enough the, the rhyme's not crazy enough the beat's not crazy enough you know it, it, and it just is one of those things that when it, when i finally got it i felt like thank you Thank you, God, for, for, you know, just giving me the strength to be able to write this record and, and make it make it feel like it does. And, you know, it's me singing the chorus, man, and I'm, I'm certainly not a singer, but I think that I guess as long as the emotion's there, mm -hmm. you know, no, fuck that, I'm a singer. I am a motherfucking singer, fuck dog. Fuck it, Zank. He good. He, he, he that boy, that boy bad. Zank. That boy bad. Fuck it, Zank. Fuck it, Zank. Thanks, man. Nah, but it was one of them, it was one of those, it's one of those moments on the record where I feel like, okay, I finally, I finally did did prove some kind of justice, you know, by, by being able to put that together and, and just dump my heart on the record. And it was one of those things that, that when it when it got towards the end of the record, I really didn't even care about just making a rhyme crazy. I just wanted to, to say it. It feels like a, like a very lasting tribute from one friend to another. So not only is it personal to you, but it can grasp people, you know, who have lost somebody important and close to them. Yeah, definitely. And taps definitely. into that emotion. So... You know, well done, I have to say. Thanks, you know? man. Thank you. I want to thank you, Marshall, for joining us and taking us on the road to recovery. Thanks, man. Paulie. And, and kudos to you, too, man, for, you You're know. You're doing being a able great do, fucking for, job, Reef. For you to Yo, be thanks, able to. Thanks, thanks, Mr. P. I want, to thank, I want to thank Al the Chemist, Mr. Porter, Paul yes. Rosenberg, Marshall Mathers. Yes. To yes. join us. Thank me, man. Thank me. We follow you on Twitter. Sakes. We have arrived. And follow me on Twitter, man. Holla back. Shade 45. Recovery. Instead.